Now, 1989 was a pivotal year in the history of video games. It was the year the original Game Boy launched and the first SimCity. It was also a very big year for game shows and one show in particular. Fast forward 20 years and Microsoft are now trying to evolve the very concept of game shows with 1 vs 100 on Xbox 360. And to do that, they've gone all the way back to 1989 to enlist the services of a man, a man with the greatest hair in the history of television. So welcome to the Fun House. One vs. 100 is the first of its kind in console gaming. A live, interactive, massively multiplayer quiz show with real prizes and a broadcast schedule just like a proper telly program. Except you can play it sat at home in your pants without going anywhere near a real studio. Which one is it? Does this mean the death of the traditional game show host as we know them? One man certainly hopes not. Pat Sharp and his amazing hair hosted Kids Show Funhouse from 1989 to the very eve of the year 2000. And to promote the UK launch of 1 vs 100 on Xbox Live, Microsoft reunited him with the show's cheerleader twins for a special video games press challenge last week in central London. Yeah, I know, they don't look like twins. <laughs> well, actually, if you look closely at Martinez, they do. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, they don't this was an opportunity too good to miss for Eurogamer TV. Pat, Melanie and Martina together again for the first time in years. The Megaton. Hey, 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 hey. We never, no, we, we've we never, never broken up. We never split, did we? No. Never. We just, you know, what, what we did on TV ran for a long time. It was very successful and it just came to a natural end. Back in 1989, as Nintendo snuck out its Game Boy, Xbox Live was an impossible dream. What was a cheerleading twin to do? The girls thought a Game Boy was some bloke who was up for it, so they weren't quite <laughs> sure what was going on, but, uh, No, I was into the, the Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, really, isn't it? <laughs> Did you ever play the, the um, Funhouse game that came out on the NES and the PC? They didn't, I think it was basically the American version. I of the saw show. it, the American really? version. Really? Yeah, I never saw absolutely, it. yeah. I did see it and I've got it. I got a friend to pick it up from America years and years ago. And they never made it for England, but they only made it for the NES, yeah. But we should mention the NES because. Sadly, for some poor children, playing the game was the closest they ever came to starring on the show, including Eurogamer's very own Bertie, who auditioned but was cruelly overlooked. One day they came to our school and they said, who wants to audition for Funhouse? And then at the end of the day they were like, okay, thanks very much. And I later found out that I didn't get through, but uh, that my friend did. And not only did my friend get through, but he went on the show and he got a CD player. If I had a pound for every person who ever said to me, and I'm sure the girls get the same, we wrote in five times, 10 times, yeah. 20 times, 50 times, we you never, never replied. Me. You never even replied. I never saw a single letter. I didn't know anyone wanted to come on the show. So. I think if you saw Bertie, you would have chosen him straight away. No, I'm, quite, I'm quite sure of that. Is he really gutted? Well, let's find out, shall we? I'd like to say, Pat, you missed out. Where are you now? And you twins, hello. And look at you, where are you today? I work for Eurogamer. Hello, who's the real winner here? Hi, Bertie. Hi to Bertie, how are you? Sorry, you yeah, didn't get all, all right. the fun house. Which is hi to Bertie, that's not his name, his name's just Bertie. Oh. <laughs> hi to Bertie. She was definitely the blonde. I had 11 years of that crap. Now, thanks to 1 vs 100, children like Bertie could reach for the stars all over again. The beta season of 1 vs 100 kicked off last Friday evening. It's a free download and free to play for gold subscribers. But will it stay free to play? How many players didn't know the answer? There is no business model moving forward from the beta season one to, to, to announce at this time. But you're keeping your options open and it, it, it may, it may a charge may be sort of uh, added in the future or may not. You're keeping your options open, so to speak. I don't know what's going to happen, to okay. be honest, totally honest with you. Um, the beta season is a, a, a test for us to, to prove mm -hmm. the platform uh, will be a success. Well, let's wait and see. For now, with the great entertainer and his sidekicks back where they belong, it was time to say thanks for all the memories. This is a very, very Gary, special yeah. moment for, for Eurogamer, and just because this was a big moment, I think, in my life and, and everybody who's watching this life, we wanted to do something to commemorate 
uh, this occasion. So we, uh, I commissioned a very talented young British artist uh, to produce God, a portrait this. of you at the, the peak <laughs> of your career. And, and here it is. I think it's, you'll agree, it's, it's quite a magnificent work. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think nothing says Funhouse quite oh, like that. <laughs> it's glorious. Look! The new pen! <laughs> so 2009! Look! It up. <laughs> A magic moment to be sure, but that's nothing compared to the magic of this 1989 pop classic. I haven't stopped dancing yet Since we met on our first date I haven't stopped loving you less It's alright, it's alright there you are, Pat and Meg are back, the twins are back, and Johnny never went away. One vs. 100 The Beta Season is available now on Xbox Live to gold subscribers. One vs. 100. That's a Pat and Meg classic, everybody. <laughs>